Hi there, my name is John Burton and I'm creative lead for resort theme parks working for Merlin Magic Making. And today I am at Alton Towers Resort answering some of your questions for National Roller Coaster Day. Let's do this. What is Merlin Magic Making? Well, Merlin Magic Making is the powerhouse of creative ideas delivering new rides and attractions, hotels and experiences for our guests in our Merlin parks. And it is made up of so many different skills from creatives project managers, to finance, health and safety, you name it. There's so many different areas in this business from early magic making that brings the magic to life. So the next question is, could you tell us more about your role as a creative lead at Merlin Magic Making? Well, my job is to essentially work from a brief and take an idea and take it all the way from the sketch, working with architects, engineers, health and safety, right through to the delivery on site and the final project. And no day is basically the same. One day I could be working in the office, coming up with ideas and different concepts. Another day I could be on site, art directing. Today I'm here filming all about roller coasters. So no day is ever the same. What's been my favourite theme park project to work on and why? So for me I'd say Manjo Mayhem at Chesterton World of Adventures, which is the world's first Jumanji themed roller coaster, which for me was really exciting. It was the first roller coaster I actually got to design and another person asked, uh, what was the inspiration for building Mandrel Mayhem? Well, we had a, a partnership with Sony Entertainment to bring the world of Chimanji to life. And we looked at multiple different uh, areas of the films to bring that to life. And we thought the Mandrel scene was really exciting. And that then was the pure inspiration for having Mandrel Mayhem as the next roller coaster at Chesington. So you've asked, what is my favorite part of working on roller coasters? Next question is, is it more exciting creating a record-breaking ride or an amazing immersive experience ride? Well, behind me is Oblivion. The world's first vertical drop roller coaster. And that is super exciting in the industry because that is something new, unique and groundbreaking. With rides like Wicker Man, that's more about the immersion and that storytelling. So for me, working on both is actually really exciting. Combining both of those elements makes something that's groundbreaking in the world and also being something that puts guests in that story and really makes it super immersive. So the next question is, what was it like to work with John Wardley? Well, I had the pleasure to work with John Wardley when we were working on The Curse Alter Manor behind me. I was the creative lead and John was a brilliant soundboard, uh, bouncing off all the ideas that we were coming up with and also imparting some of his knowledge from when he worked on the attraction back in 1992. What is the process when creating the name of a roller coaster? That's a really great question because the process is actually, we have a really collaborative approach. We work with marketing, creative, and sometimes we've actually broadened it out and gone to the staff in our park and actually ran it as a competition. But for some rides, you've actually had the project manager name the ride. And for instance, in this case, a great name can come from anywhere. A popular question asked, what is happening with Nemesis? Well, I can't tell you too much more other than everything is under control. When did your love of roller coaster start and what did you want to do when growing up? Well, essentially, I grew up going to theme parks when I was younger and then I got into the game Roller Coaster Tycoon, which got me completely hooked on building and designing roller coasters. So it basically became a dream job of actually, I want to design these things. And I've worked my way through doing architecture and various other elements like working at the Sea Life Centre to get into this industry and found myself actually now doing my dream job. So a lot of you have asked, when will we see an RMC design at a park? Can we, can we cut the camera? We can't be talking about anything potentially on the horizon. The next question is, how much involvement do IP partners have in creating an attraction? So for those of you who don't know, IP stands for intellectual property, which is something a bit like Gangster Granny, a story written by David Williams that we at Merlin Magic Making have worked with the IP to actually bring that to life as a new ride attraction or land. And that can take many years and also the journey could be really different. So for instance, some IP partners get very heavily involved, whereas others may not. And that might be that they're looking at some of the storyboards, getting involved with those, but also getting involved with scripts. So for instance, David actually recorded some of the scripts in this ride for us. But in essence, what we want to do is work as a collaboration to really ensure that we embody that story and make guests feel as immersed in our attractions and those stories that they like love. So what would be your dream coaster to design and to work on? Well, I could already be working on it, so watch this space. Another question now about Thorpe Park and Alton Towers are both heavy on dark, eerie themes. 
Um, I'd love to see more big throwaways and happier, made more whimsical storylines. Do you think scares are essential for thrills, or could Merlin welcome whimsy into big Phil lineup? So a lot of the themes, as you say, can be uh, seen as quite maybe dark or horror related. I mean, look at the smile, it's quite twisted. But what we do is we actually base it off the um, essence of the attractions in the park. So for instance, Alton Towers has got a deep history with legends and myths, which is why we've built those stories and they become ownable to Alton Towers. And it, we're not to say that we're not open to other ideas and what to say in the future, there might be some more fantastical uh, concepts and ideas uh, on the horizon as well. So the next question is, what comes first, the budget or the initial concept? And that's a really good question, because actually the answer to that is, sometimes the magic makers and myself, we're dreaming up new ideas all the time, regardless of a, a brief or a budget, and no idea is ever wasted. But sometimes we do get a brief first with a budget associated with that, which is also then what we're working towards. So the answer is, either or. So the next question is, do you still enjoy visiting theme parks? Absolutely, who doesn't? So the next question is a really big question. Could you tell us about the roller coaster journey and what is the most important thing to consider? So building a roller coaster, like Galactica, is a really kind of challenging job because you first begin with an idea of what is it that you want to go and create. So we come up with many ideas at Merlin Matcha Making and sketch some ideas out, whether that's a napkin sketch, and then we start broadening it out, working with architects, designers, and many different disciplines to then start to map out how we can make this work. We then go and approach a manufacturer to then bring some of those ideas to life through actual engineering and the design of it. And then what happens is we visualize that, 3D design it, create simulations, even sometimes even put it in VR to make sure that it's working and developing all the ideas that we want to for our guests. And then it comes to the moment of opening it. But the most important thing to consider, I would say, is safety. Safety is absolutely number one uh, for all our rides and our attractions. How would you advise someone who wants to get into the creative theme park industry? Well, there's no singular answer for that. My experience was that I went and studied architecture, a well-rounded course of design. I also got experience working at the National Sea Life Centre. I mean, hey, I was a costume character as a sheep at the National Sea Life. And then I looked at the Merlin website and got my job working as a creative here. So my advice to you would be build your portfolio, also gain some experience, whether that's working in a local attraction, um, working in a local design firm, but always keep checking the Merlin Careers website for new roles and opportunities. Thank you so much for everyone who submitted questions. Hopefully I've been able to answer them all. And I want to wish you all a happy National Roller Coaster Day.